What's up YouTube? That's what beats back with another video. If this is your first time to the channel, is always welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. Alright, today what I'm doing, somebody asked me, how do I take a sound from a drum program that I have? Like say they had a sample inside of a drum program like they have the drums the kicks the whatever and then they have like a little sample in there but that sample they want to take the sample and put it across the keyboard but the thing is the person doesn't have a mpc key 61 they doesn't have a mpc hardware they have the um just a midi keyboard so what do you want to do is just spread it across the midi keyboard so in this video i'm gonna show you how to use it in the hardware and i'm gonna show you how to do it in the software all right so let's go let's get it we're using one shots from a drum program to make a key group program. Let's go, let's get it. Go ahead and pick a drum program that everyone should have. All right, let's go. Let's do the vault. All right. Let's load that one up for instance. Say this right here. All right, say this this pad, pad 16. We want this sound right here. All right, so if you want that sound, right? And you want it to have multiple different sounds, say you'll go to 16 levels right here. All right, but say you don't want that, you want it on the keyboard. Even if you don't have the um, MPC key 61 and you have a MIDI keyboard, say you have a MIDI keyboard, but you want it all on the MIDI um, keyboard, right? What you want to do, because it don't, even though you hit 16 levels, it don't come on the keyboard. It only stays on the pad. All right, so if you want it, to go on the keyboard what you'll go to is warp um warp samples right there and then what you want to do is hit this right here this little piano looking thing you'll hit that okay and just hit okay it says there is no sample on this pad to create a key group okay so what we did right there we messed up okay so what we need to do is go back here go back to main take it off of 16 levels hit pad 16 then go to warp sample once we do that, then you hit this keyboard right here. Now, all right, so now it's on there. All right, so the reason why to do that, do it like that way, is now you know what key is in, what key you, you can have it in. You can warp it, you can do whatever you wanna do. You can move up the semitones. Can move it all the way down right so it's a lot that you can do it when you use that little keyboard um, button right there all right so now if you don't have a hardware like a MPC to hit that that warp and then hit the uh, keyboard I'm gonna show you how to do it inside just the software all right, so inside the software, what you will want to do, since this is the drums is on uh, track one, you want to go to track two. Once you go to track two, you go right here to key group. And once you go to key group, you'll... Did y'all see that? Crazy, right? Let's go. All right, we back. We brought it back up. So since the drum is on track one, what you want to do, you'll go to track two and you'll go to... Hold on. Let's go to view, let's go to workspace, and let's go to advance. All right, so sit, now we're in track two. You want to come to key group program. Once you're in key group program, you can either come here and hit this. Not this, I'm sorry. Hit this right here so you can see your key group program that you want to make up. All right, and you'll just come here and you'll find that, that number wherever uh, pad 16 is at. Sync 5, let's look for sync 5. So once we go up here, we'll go to back to track two. We need to be in our key group program and we need to come here 
and sync five right here. All right, we hit that. All right, so that's how you do that right there. All right, so now if you want to know what's what key is in, all you have to do is go up, come right here to sample edit, and it tells you right here is this the key right here, G major, and that's it. That's how you use your um, drum programs, any sound in your drum program to create a one or one shot key group program. All right, that's it. Let's go. Let's get it. I'll catch y'all in the next one, man. Just a real quick video helping somebody out. That's it. All right. Let's go.